Buses with the sign school bus have crossed the Ukrainian checkpoint. People are met by police, rescuers, volunteers and government officials. You see, they have moved out. Very grateful. Thank you very much. I still can't believe it. Actually, it is so important for me. There are a lot of people still there. I know there are a lot of people who remained at Azovstal, at the railway station, and now people have come out and I'm standing here shouting, have you heard what I was saying? That we will not leave you. Have you heard? Children, women and the elderly cannot stop crying. They still can't believe they were saved. Inna and five-year-old Dawit said the route was difficult, but the main thing is that they are alive. You see, we are alive and well. How was the ride, David? It was very hard. It was very hard both emotionally and physically. We cried, we had mood swings and bombardments. We are okay. We will continue to live somehow. Mariupol residents say it was impossible to live under occupation. And the reason was not only shelling and bombing, they had no food and water. <laughs> They have been shelling since 6 a.m. even earlier. As of Stal mostly, we have been hearing it. We live on the left bank. Almost all strikes targeted as of Stal. Bread, water, this is given once in two weeks or a week. One loaf of bread and one and a half liters of water. And that's all. According to Mariupol city officials, this is the first organized evacuation of people since the start of the blockade of Mariupol. For almost two months, the occupiers did not allow entry into the city and transport Mariupol residents out of the shelling and bombing. The other side announced us the number of buses. In fact, a lot of people had come and not everyone could get inside. Then they compacted even more. Three buses were made of five. In Vasilivka, three buses were already replaced, and our residents moved to the other ones. Since the beginning of the blockade of Mariupol with a half a million population, hundreds thousand people have been able to leave the city by private transport or on foot. Reported by Roman Smoderna, Dia Sukhorukova, Boris Yakovenko, UATV.